everybody welcome back to another video in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a V cut tee from scratch wow I'm going to be doing a tutorial well it's been a long time and well let's get straight into the video so here is the V cut tee on body it's not as V cut e as the other tee that I made previously but it still has that V cut. But I will show you how to make both this very subtle one and then the one that I made in the past let's so. Before we jump into the tutorial, please have both of these patterns made. You can click in the video description or on the screen right now to go to those videos. First, we're going to modify our body pattern. So measuring three to about five inches from the bottom of the pattern, you want to draw out a straight line. From either side of the body piece, you want to create a diagonal line from the midpoint to the side of the body pattern. Fold the body pattern in half and cut along the diagonal line. At the end of everything, your body pattern should look like this. Next, we need to create a corresponding hem piece for the V cut. Place the body pattern on another piece of construction paper, outline the V cuts, measure 1.5 inches from the original outline, and trace a second outline of the V cut. Go ahead and cut out your hem piece. Here's how it should look when you're all done. Grab the fabric that you want to use for the body, Double up on it by folding it over, place the body pattern along the fold of the fabric, and proceed to cut around the pattern. Here's how the first piece should look. Now you want to repeat this whole process once again for the second body piece. Next we're going to cut out the sleeve, so double up on your fabric once again, place your sleeve pattern right over the fabric, and cut around the pattern. You should end up with two pieces. Next we're going to cut out the hem pieces, so double up on the fabric that you would like to use, place your hem piece over the fabric, and proceed to cut around it. You should end up with two pieces like this. You want to repeat this one more time for the second set of hem pieces. In total, you should have two sets of hem pieces. Now we're going to sew together the hem pieces, so put right sides together and proceed to pin along the top side of the hem piece. Now take your hem piece to the sewing machine and sew along this part of the hem piece. After you're done sewing the hem pieces, you just want to cut off any excess fabric. Now we want to invert the fabric so the hem is not showing. On the right side of the body piece, you just want to place the hem piece along the V. Do this one more time for the other body piece. Next we're going to hem the sleeves, so grab either sleeve, fold it over by half an inch. After the first fold, you want to fold it over again by a half an inch. Here's how your sleeves should look. Take everything to your sewing machine and do a straight stitch along the hem pieces and the ends of the sleeves. Now we're going to invert the hem piece so it's on the wrong side of the fabric. Simply fold it over and pin it into place. Repeat this one more time for the other body piece. Here's how both pieces should look after you're all done. Next we're going to hem the sleeve, so have the right side of the sleeve showing. Take one end of the sleeve and bring it over to the other end. Pin everything into place and this is how both sleeves should look after you're done. Now take all the pieces to your sewing machine and do a zigzag slash overlock stitch for the sleeves and a straight stitch for the hem pieces. Now we're going to sew the body pieces together, so have one body piece faced up and have the second one face down over it, and proceed to pin along these areas of the body piece. Take the body piece to your sewing machine and do a zigzag slash overlock stitch along these areas. Next we're going to add in the sleeves, so with the body piece inside out and the sleeves right side up. You want to take the narrow end of the sleeve and place that right into the armhole and proceed to pin around it. Here's how the pinning should look. Go to your sewing machine and do a zigzag or overlock stitch along the sleeves. 
Next, we're going to be making the collar piece. So grab your measuring tape and measure from one end of the neckline to the other end. Here are the dimensions for the collar piece. After you cut out your collar piece, you want to take it and fold it over like so. Then pin along the end. Go to your sewing machine and zigzag stitch along the pinned area. Now you want to invert and fold in half the collar piece. If you folded it correctly, it should look like this. Now we're going to add reference pins to the neckline, so adding the collar will be very easy. So start in the middle, on the side, the other side, and the middle of the back. We want to repeat this process one more time for the collar piece as well. So one in the side, one in the middle, one in the other side, and one in the back. Now we can add on the collar piece. So using each reference pin, line them up and pin the collar onto the neckline. Repeat this process all the way around the neckline. Here's how the pinning should look and take everything to your sewing machine and do a zigzag or a relaxed stitch along the collar area. And that is the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. But more tutorials to come soon. But thanks for watching. As always, this is your boy Ken and you daily. Remember to keep it daily, and I hope to catch you guys next time. Peace!